Ugh, no. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Tessa Lakela. Um, if you are new here, hi, welcome. If you have watched me before, we're just gonna pretend that I didn't like upload for like almost a year and like I've been doing this frequently. Um, it's good to have you back, it's good to be back. Not sure how long I'm gonna be here for, but I just put a little makeup look together and I figured put it up on the YouTubes. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So before I go in with my foundation, I'm so excited to show you guys my foundation, I'm just gonna put on some face mist. And then let that dry. Okay, so the foundation I got recently when I was in Spain is the Fenty Beauty one. Aww. It is the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. I use the color for 20. Um, it's a really great foundation. It's super lightweight. Um, I think the only thing that I don't love too much about it is I need like a good four or five pumps depending on how much coverage I want. So yeah, that is it. So I'm just going to be using this palette as my mirror. Uh, it's really dirty. It's really dirty, but okay. So I'm going to go in with my foundation. Just The brushes aren't the cleanest at the moment, so we're just going to pretend like you can't see it. I usually put this straight on my face, but I think that might look weird on camera, so I'm just going to put it on a brush. Two pumps, to kind of get a coat. So I feel like if you haven't watched my videos before, I should probably mention that I am in no means, in no way, a professional makeup artist or someone who's who's like good at putting makeup on. I just really like playing with makeup and wearing it. I like how it makes me feel, confident, that kind of stuff. I obviously have a lot more foundation on this side than this side, so we are going to go in with two more pumps. Yeah, so um, don't take me seriously. I'm not a great makeup artist. I'm not a makeup artist at all. I just, I like makeup. And I have like zero technique, so you're probably gonna watch this and be like, what is she doing? To be honest, I don't really know either, so. I've been using retinol on my face at the moment, so it's making me a lot more photosensitive and when I'm driving in traffic, I can just feel my skin getting blood. All those melanin cells getting stimulated by the sun as I sit in traffic. That is a foundation base done. I think that actually came out really well. I am trying to locate my concealer, which would be what goes next. Duh! Um, I'm using the Fit Me Maybelline Concealer in the shade 45. I was going to say the shade dropped off. I got this from Discam when they were having a 50% sale off on all the Fit Me products, so I paid like 50 rand for this. And I've been using it for a very good couple of months, so definitely worth it. It's a really good concealer, and I don't know if you guys could hear that, but somebody is driving past my house and their base is just pumping, thumping. Now we blend. I think that is a really good base. I'm very happy with how this looks. I'm just gonna put some more mattifying spray on this to help it set. And you know, gotta make sure makeup stays on for as long as possible. Drink some water while this dries. 
Next thing is to set my face with a setting powder. I am using the Makeup Revolution Banana Luxury. No, it's just banana baking powder. Uh, I've been using this for a really long time. I really like it. I do just take some out of the bottle into kind of a pan situation so I can just pick it up really easily and put it over here. I'm going under my eyes first to just kind of let that bake a little. And then my nose area and just kind of anywhere where my makeup would crease, I put that in just so it can sit, bake, look a little bit more flawless. I'm just gonna finish powdering the rest of my face off camera. So um, see you in three, two. And I'm back. My face is baked. I am ready to go on with the rest of my makeup. So I'm gonna start with my eyebrows first. I'm still using the Benefit Cabral for like the past four years. I really need to get a new eyebrow product. So my eyebrows are very simple. Kind of just dig in the pot and then fill my brows in wherever they need to be filled. And then once the brows are filled out, I just kind of take an old mascara spoolie and brush through them. So they look a little bit more natural. Okay, now that my brows are done, it means I'm moving on to my eyes, which I'm very excited for because I wasn't sure which makeup look to do, like something natural, something super dark, something fun, and then I kind of just put it to Instagram and most people voted on this look that I did a while back, which is, I use this really great lipstick, guys. The actual eyeshadow part is very simple. It's just like one color, I think, of like a, a reddish, orangish eyeshadow. And then I get to use um, the Huda Melted Shadows, the matte and metal one. I got it in the shade Cherry Soda and hot sauce so I'm gonna be using cherry soda as my eyeliner today which believe me the first time I did this the only time I was so scared I was gonna mess it up so um it's gonna take a lot of concentration hopefully I get it right in one try and then I have a very exciting lipstick but well we'll get to that let's just let's get on with the eyeshadow um I generally have a problem with like eyeshadow falling out so I kind of just take a tissue and <laughs> You guys, I, I've said this already. I'm not a professional. I don't have any great techniques. I just take a tissue because it's not gonna like dig into my makeup and take it from the end of my nostril to the end of my eye and then make that kind of the V shape that I'm supposed to get. And then it also kind of just takes out any um, fallout. So I'm gonna take. I can't find my eyeshadow brush. My eyeshadow brush. So for the eyeshadow color, I am going to go in with the Ace Butte Flare Palette. Um, the shade is Hazelnut, if you can see. It's just a really, like a terracotta kind of shade on my face. So take that in. Make sure nothing is falling out. Like I said, I have zero technique. I'm also doing this while looking in the mirror behind the camera. So if I look weird and strange to you, that, that is why. That is where I'm looking at. Because my lip is really bold color, this is basically all I'm doing for the eyeshadow, especially because I'm going in with some like glitter eyeliner. This is more than enough. I'm just gonna blend a little bit. Okay, and now for the really scary part, in that I am gonna take this, and make it eyeliner when it's technically not. So I feel like I should put my aircon on like higher or at a lower temperature. So this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. It's so shiny. It's very beautiful. I want to say rose gold, but I know that's not the right 
the right color name. So I'm just gonna, it's cherry soda. So let's get to it. I'm probably gonna look really weird doing this, but yeah, you'll, you'll see. That was way too easy. I am really scared. Oh, I got some put in my eye. I'm actually really scared to see how the other eye comes out. And I just love that it's so easy to just have glitter liner. You can make your entire lid glitter with this. It's just such a great makeup product. I've managed to do this relatively easily like two times now and that that is unprecedented and I am very happy with this product. And that's basically all I'm gonna do for my eyes. I'm just gonna let this dry a little and then I'll put some mascara on. So I'm gonna go in with my blush. I'm using the NARS Torrid. It's a very light, pale, muted color. But I really like it. And it's like so tiny. Look at it, it's so cute. Um, my blush brush. So, go in. And kind of just puff my cheeks out. So, you can kind of see where the blush should go. Oh, we've got two, two friends right here. But it's fine, the makeup look shall go on. I know I should go in with a bit of a darker color it's not showing up too great so I am just um, for the makeup revolution palette it's the like color in the corner which just adds a little bit of life to my cheeks and blush done um for highlighter I'm going in with this is a really dirty <laughs> palette at the moment because this packaging is white. Um, I'm just gonna go in with this color over here. It is called Extra AF as I say AF as Fiona. Probably one person would get that joke. Um, go in with the light would kind of hit my non-existent cheekbones. And then just a little under my brow for some extra pizzazz. And I think my mascara is ready to go on. I'm going to curl my lashes first. I'm usually super lazy and I don't like to do it. And I'm not even lazy, most of the time I'm just really late. So I don't have time to curl my lashes, but today I do. So get in there. Then when I got to go to Sephora um, in December, January, okay, I bought this in December, I picked up the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It is so good. It's really, really good. Um, before, I had the waterproof one, and I bought it from Dubai, so I think it was censored, so it was called Better Than Love, which I thought was really cute. But here we go. It really does a lot for my lashes, which is super short and super straight. The last thing that I basically have to do is put on my lipstick, which is a very uncharacteristic purchase for me. Like, I love Colourpop. Like, their lipsticks are $5, $6, so like 80 Rand or something like that. And this is a Chanel lipstick, which I would never buy, but I was like, when in Spain, treat thyself, you've earned it. Um, it is the Rouge Allure Velvet Extreme. Um, it's in, it just has a number, 116, like I, I was, I was there, I was in Sephora, I was like, oh, these look so pretty, somebody, one of like the salespeople at Sephora swatched a couple on for me, I didn't understand her, she didn't understand me, but we both understood that we really liked this color, 
So I bought it. I it was just an impulsive. I'm not looking at the price. I'm just taking it. It's really pretty. It is so beautiful. Like it's just such a, a bam color without being a super bright in your face red or a pink. It's just more like a plum. And that's basically it for this makeup look. I'm just gonna spritz my face again because I'm obsessed with doing that. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make a fool of myself for a little while. I put this look together and that you liked it. If you want to try it, let me know. So yeah, that is it. Um, don't forget to like this video, share it, subscribe, comment what you think about this. It's been a really long time since I made a video, so it's probably very awkward, a little bit funny, and 